one of my dogs had surgery the other day and my vet recommended that since it's in such an odd place instead of the cone of shame we put a t-shirt on her and one of the vet techs said that we can put a tank top on her and just loop the tops of the tank top here through her collar. Well, I have a short and very long dog. She's part Basset Hound and part Border Collie. So her proportions are a little odd. And where her injury sits, if I put this on her, it'll actually show out this really big armhole. This is one of my husband's tank tops that he has kindly allowed me to cut up and use for her that he doesn't wear anymore. And I know a lot of you guys out there use t-shirts that you cut down the back and then you cut strips down and you cut leg holes in them and there's a, a few pictures on Pinterest on how to do that. So if your dog has um, a, a wound that's healing maybe further down on the body or on the belly that you don't want to get to them and they can't for some reason wear an e-collar or the cone of shame as it's more <laughs> commonly known then that's going to be a good option. However, uh, my girl has her stitches right over one of her shoulders. So she's got to have something that I can kind of um, adjust to see. And since she's so oddly proportioned, and I'll show you her, her on the video a little bit later, then she has to have something that can actually go in and around the place that we need it to. So since she's so oddly proportioned and she's not a very large dog, she's only 45 pounds, um, we want to make sure that this will fit her pretty well. As you can see, this is a really long um, shirt. So what I did for her is I went ahead and I cut these. That way I can stick her head and her legs through here. And then I did this. Because I need something a little bit longer for me, the human, to be able to tie around her collar. One of the vet techs told me to tie it around her collar. So I just take this part out. Now, what's gonna happen is you're gonna scrunch this all up and you're gonna stick the dog's head in it so that it comes out here. You're then gonna make sure that both of her paws are through the opening. Um, then you're gonna take this, these two pieces, and you'll tie it around her collar or through her collar. And I'll show you on the actual dog. She's out eating some treats I just sprinkled for them on the floor. Then you just do the same on the other side. And I'll show you what that looks like. Cinder, come here. Come here. Come on, my girl. Come on, let's go. This is the incorrect dog. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to go to the dog. She is not coming to me. There she is. Hi. Hi, buddy girl. So, as you can see, I've just tied a little bow tie down through her collar. This goes through the collar, just like that. And she's got her leg through on both sides, and each side has a tie through her collar. And then, because she's so long and low, um, instead of cutting down the back and making a bunch of ties, I just gave her a top knot at the back, and it cinches her all in nicely where she needs to be. Now her um, surgery mark is actually right here. So it's in an odd place. She can't necessarily turn around and bite at it, but she can take her stubby little back legs and scratch at it. And then she also likes to rub up against furniture and stuff. <laughs> so I wanted to make her something that she could definitely use if she sideswiped a door or a chair that would protect that wound site. Thank you for licking the floor. Like I said earlier, I sprinkled some puppy treats down there and she's getting all the dust. She's really a pro at it. So that is that. That is how I made Cinder's little cover for her recovery. 
There's all our snuffle mats and stuff on the chair by the kitchen counter. And there's the girls. So I hope this helps you guys out. And if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day.